and welcome back to our channel. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video and it is a video all about my new hair. I'm talking about my new haircut, my new hair color, um, or what my stylist did. Well, first of all, who I went to to get it done, what my stylist did, why I cut it, why I colored it, my inspiration and things like that. So I'll try to keep this video pretty short. I don't want it to be too long, but I will be sure to include a couple of pictures throughout the video to kind of show you guys where I started from and where we are now. And so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'll talk about why I actually cut my hair. Actually, at the beginning of at the beginning of April, Alicia and I were having a conversation about how we just wore with our hair, how I want to do something different, and how we were just like over like our hair. You know, a lot of people, whenever they start the natural hair journey, they want healthier hair and they want longer hair. And um, Alicia and I are both, well, I'll be two full years natural in July. Um, Alicia just passed her two year natural hair anniversary. So we've both been natural for about two years. And you know, over the past two years, it has been really fun to watch our hair just start from scratch and just grow and thrive and do its thing. But after a while, y'all, it gets pretty boring. Well, at least, at least especially for me. I Y'all know I get bored with my hair really easily. And so for me, it was like, okay, I saw it grow and I saw it get healthy and I saw the curls, you know, bounce back and I saw like my natural hair and all that. But after a while, I was like, okay, what's next? Like, I need something else to do. So Alicia and I were talking um, back at the beginning of April about how we were bored with our hair, how we wanted something different, how we just needed like a, a big change. And we actually made a bet, y'all. Now, as you know, Alicia is the one who's more conservative and she doesn't like to try a lot of, a lot of new things. Um, she's actually pretty pretty consistent with her hair. She wears her hair natural or natural more than I do. She wears her hair in the same styles typically. And so she kind of stays in a box. So we made a bet, actually, that if Alicia went through and cut her hair, then I would cut my hair shorter than she did. So, as you guys know, if you watch her channel, Alicia did cut her hair. She cut her hair about two and a half weeks before I did, and she cut it into like a long asymmetrical bob. So the front of her hair comes about her shoulders, and the back kind of is stacked in the back, but it comes like about like right here. So it kind of comes here, and it kind of goes long. So she actually still has quite a lot of hair left on her head after cutting it, and she cut off quite a bit. But yeah, we had made a bet that if Alicia cut her hair, then I would cut my hair shorter than she did. And so at first, y'all, I genuinely did not think Alicia would go through with it, but she did. And since she did, I had to go through with my end of the bargain. So I went to Forum Hair Salon here in Dallas. It's near the SMU area, if you guys know where that, where that is, if you're in Dallas. It's called Forum Hair Salon, and I went to Maddie. Now, Maddie is a hair coloring expert keyword expert that specializes in hair painting um, balayage and different hair coloring techniques now i will say that when i was looking for a stylist to do my hair i was very very particular about the look that i wanted and who i wanted to do it and i say that because i really wanted a actual hair coloring expert now when i say expert i mean someone who specializes in hair coloring and just someone that would know how to get me exactly what i wanted the hair color that i wanted the tone that i wanted the dimension that i wanted i wanted someone who would know exactly what they're doing to get me that i think that was a, a big deal for me because there are so many people or there's so many stylists that know how to cut hair and that know how to color hair but just because you know how to cut hair and just because you know how to color hair does not make you a hair coloring expert if that makes sense but for my particular hair cut and color more so my color i really wanted someone who was actually an expert in doing color so i could get exactly what i wanted so i went to maddie at form hair salon and i went in like a thursday night and we just knocked it out and i will say this took over five hours to do y'all yes five hours now the reason why it took so long is because if you guys remember this time last year i had dyed my hair jet black i had went in to get um a light balayage back in november so i did have some light lighter brown pieces already in my hair but the technique that my stylist used we did not do a color remover so i did still have a lot of that black dye still in my hair if that makes sense so whenever i got the balayage back in november we didn't remove the black dye we just lifted straight from the black and so i did have a lot of that black dye still left in my hair so whenever i went in a few weeks ago to get my hair done we were literally starting with 
a mixture of lighter pieces and just jet black pieces. Okay, so first whenever I got in there, the first step was to paint on a lighter base. So what we did is we just took my whole entire head and just applied a lightener all over. Now, I will say that the key for me was to leave my roots dark. I really, really wanted to leave my roots dark because as my hair grows out, I don't have to be in the salon every every month getting my hair redone to touch up my roots. I love the way it turned out with the with the dark roots and then going into lighter hair. So we did that, removed the black dye, and then second, we foiled my entire head. So what we did is we went in with high lift blondes and low lift blondes, I believe, and we went in and foiled my entire head. So what she did is she pretty much alternated between like a lower lift blonde and a higher lift blonde. So for example, this little piece right here, this really bright blonde streak was a high lift blonde. And then like over here is like a lower lift blonde. So she went in and she um, foiled my entire head alternating between those two, those two tones to give me that multi-dimensional look that I really, really, really wanted. And then lastly, whenever we went in to rinse the color out, um, we rinsed it out and then she went in with toner. She mixed a few different colors for the tone to achieve this look, but she did on the lighter blonde pieces, she did use a toner to make it more of a, of a cooler, a cooler blonde. Then in the back on the side, we toned it down with more of a warmer blonde. Really give me that multi-dimensional look that I really wanted. So I love it because it has um, a lot of dimension to it. So as you can see over here, for example, there's like some, some darker, some darker tones, some medium tones, and some really light tones. And that is like exactly what I wanted to achieve. Now I will show you guys my actual cut inspiration. Her name on Instagram, I actually found her via uh, The Cut Life, of course. Her Instagram name is A-A-A-N-I-R-A-C. So I found her on The Cut Life and absolutely loved her haircut. So this is like a side view of her haircut and then here is a, a back view of her cut. And as you can see, the bottom pieces down here is really, really short and then the top kind of uh, kind of combs over and it's still pretty long. And that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to keep a lot of length at the top um, and just really keep the bottom short. So we went in and did the color. The color itself took like four and a half hours. And then we went in, straightened my hair, bone straight first, and then cut it. And so whenever we cut it, as you can see down here, the bottom of my hair is extremely, extremely short. So most of the length that got cut was from the bottom layer of my hair. So we cut off a lot from the bottom and then of course kept a lot of the length at the top, which I love because if I want to go back to like wearing my hair in a natural hairstyle or doing like a heat free hairstyle, I still have a lot of hair at the top to work with so that way I can find really cute and easy styles kind of give me more of that like tapered look. Now for my color inspiration, I absolutely loved this color here. The hairstylist that did this color is Rachel Red on Instagram and I just loved this hair color because it's very multi-dimensional. It really has that lighter blonde, darker blonde, medium tones in it and that's what I really wanted for my hair. And I think that my stylist Maddie did an excellent, excellent job on giving me exactly what I wanted. Like it looks so good and I am actually so, so, so pleased with it. I will say that I have done my hair once since I got it done oh, three weeks ago. And I do do the exact same routine. I have a video on how I straighten my hair with one heat pass and I'll link it down below. But that exact routine and the exact products, the exact tools, everything I did in that video is exactly what I did for my hair, to do my hair. I do wrap and style my hair exactly the same. So we'll leave that video down below. But everything in that video is exactly what I did when doing my hair. And y'all, like I am just loving, loving, loving it. So in the morning, I just comb down the wrap, take out the rollers, and kind of brush through the roller part. It's kind of give me this more layered, uh, lightly curled effect. And then I just kind of um, push up the back part. And that's it y'all that's literally all i do and that technique lasts me two weeks people are always surprised whenever i say that i go two weeks in between wash days but it's really not that hard if you maintain your hair um, correctly throughout those two weeks and i will share a secret with you guys which is one of my newfound holy grails for making my hair last two weeks and that is the batiste dry shampoo y'all i have been loving this stuff so if you don't know dry shampoo is a quick and easy way to remove all the excess oil because you know as time goes on your hair tends to get oily and like weighed down and it starts to look kind of 
dull. So whenever my hair gets like that, instead of washing it and redoing it, I just use a dry shampoo um, all over my hair to kind of refresh it and just give me that freshly done look. And that really helps to get rid of that excess oil. It helps make my hair lighter, fluffier, it gives me more volume, and it really just helps to make my hair last. So that is it for this video. You guys, if you all have any other questions at all about my hair, um, anything like that, products, anything like that, just leave it down below and I'll try my best to answer it as best as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye you guys.